Thing. Just exercise and balance meals for these super slimmers hailing from right across the country. That's the way you do it. They're the five finalists in the 2011 Weight Watchers Healthy Life Awards for uh, the Slimmer of the Year. Let's meet them. Here is Melody Coleman from New South Wales, Tony Wood from Queensland, Brooke Addison from Victoria, Francine Nicholl from Western Australia and Cara McLean from the Northern Territory. Ladies, good morning. Congratulations Thank to you all. You. Melody, you are the uh, youngest finalist at 25. How has your life changed since losing that weight? Okay, well, I think um, being a young person growing up in today's busy world, I was always um, really focused on, you know, studies and my career. And I didn't know that I had to account for my health. Um, mm. But once I realised I had to make health my priority, um, I had experienced amazing changes to all areas of my life. So one of the main ones has been my outlook. Um, at Weight Watchers, I learnt it's not just about food and exercise but also having a supportive environment and mm. um, changing your behaviours. So for me, learning about positive thinking and believing that I could achieve what I want to yeah. um, okay. has made the difference. Yeah, well, you can tell. Tony, um, you say your whole family has benefited. How? Yeah. How? Uh, well, firstly, my husband has also lost weight since I've been doing Weight Watchers. Um, he's lost about 20 kilos. Oh, wow. He's eating what you're exactly. eating, Exactly. Right? He's okay. actually cooking what I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I yeah. like the way you operate. Yeah, he's a chef in our house. Yeah. Um, we're, we're healthy role models for our children. I have two small children, Logan and Mia. Mm. And um, as I said, we're healthy role models for them now. Um, they understand about good nutrition and the benefits of regular mm. exercise as well. You've all got good backstories. There's you know, good incentive, uplifting, inspiring stories behind each and every one of you. Brooke, you lost 34 kilos. What was the story? What inspired you? For me, I had always tried to lose weight for an event such as a wedding or a birthday party through a fad diet and a quick fit. I really did live an unhealthy lifestyle and so once that was over with, I would gain the weight then some more. So I decided this time I actually had a health scare with my leg. I had a tumour removed from my leg and at 26 years of age, we shouldn't really be having that sort of health issues. So I decided it was absolutely time for me to make a whole lifestyle change. But being young, I wanted it to be flexible and flexible and I still wanted to be able to socialise and live my life. So Weight Watchers was just perfect for me in order to do that. Okay, Francine, you went from a size 22 to an 8. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, how long did that take? And what was the, what was the trigger point that made you, you know, want to do that? Yeah, um, well it took me 8.5 months. I was quite lucky. I started in October last year on the yeah. new Pro Points program and um, I'm a pretty passionate and dedicated person. So once I got started and you know, I saw the goalpost ahead of me, there was no way I wasn't kicking it through there. Um, the trigger for me really was just that whole disillusionment with how I was looking and how I was living my life at the moment. I mean, I have a beautiful nine-year-old daughter, Isla, and she, I was just watching her life go by. I wasn't actually being involved with it. I mm. wasn't playing with her in the park. I was just sitting on the side with my lattes and my magazine and thinking that, you know, I'm such a great mum, whereas now I'm an awesome mum, but I actually get to do everything with her and I get to play so much fun and wow. games and entertainment with her all but, the time. But was there a moment? Sometimes it's seeing a photo. Yeah. What was it? That moment was coming home from a social event yeah. and um, catching a glimpse of myself in the mirror right. and for the first time stopping and looking and seeing so much spare tyre mm. around my belly. I think you could have used it in a bigger loser shot, really. It was wow. just yeah. disgusting. Okay. And then not being able to see the toes. I love the way all of your eyes eyes glaze over yes, and your voice yeah. voice starts to crack when you talk about the kids and the impact it's yes. had on the kids. Cara, you lost the most. 67 kilos, right? How long did that take you? Just under two years. Right. Just under two years. Wow. What, what, what kept you going? What kept you motivating? Because I did have such a big amount of weight to lose, mm. I found it quite daunting to look at the end result of how much I had to go. Yeah. So I broke it down into five kilo passes or pieces of weight that I had to, to lose yeah. and at the end of each five kilos I gave myself a prize so whether it be I've got that many shoes now <laughs> <laughs> shoes handbags jewelry um, every five kilos That's I rewarded fantastic. myself and made sure I did Goodbye. when I got to 50 kilos I wanted a big prize, mm -hmm. <laughs> so I got a cappuccino machine. <laughs> All right. Right. Can I imagine when, when you are carrying extra weight, it does seem, I imagine, would seem insurmountable. Like it's yeah. just too hard and you get to yeah. a point where you go, you know, it's, it's just too hard. But you guys are, 
walking and, and living, breathing examples of what can be done. And I take my hat off to you. Well Thank done, ladies. Well done, guys. Yes. Now, yes. for more on the Healthy Life Awards, you can head to our website. And for some more inspiration, just pick up a copy of uh, Weight, yes. Weight Watchers magazine. Yes. Featuring none other. I'm, I'm in this month. Why? It's the 21st birthday of Weight Watchers Mag, so they interviewed some you know, different women in the media to get us our take on things. Look at that you! Was really fun. Wow. That was really fun. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Notice you didn't hold up your Playboy photo when Kendra was here. <laughs> Just Good ahead. Tip. Miranda Kerr shows off her incredible <laughs> post-baby body uh, in a $2.5 million ride. What are you talking about? Wow. First, though,